Hi everybody, in this video I wanted to show you how you can zoom, crop and pan in Share Factory on the PlayStation 4. So let's say, like in this particular case here, in this, this scene uh, from Rainbow Six Siege, um, I want to zoom in as I'm shooting this guy over there. Or shooting at him anyway. Do I kill him? Let's have a look. Yeah, I do. You know, because it's a little bit small to see here. Well, he's a little bit small to see, and I think, yeah, I'd rather I could zoom in. And you can do that as well. So what you've got to remember is that any edit we make to the timeline, to the big blue bar at the bottom, will be made to the whole of the timeline unless we separate it by cutting it. So the first thing we want to do is decide where we want to start zooming in. So let's say we want to start zooming in as I'm aiming there, as I'm aiming down sights. So that's the point at which I want to zoom in. So we take it back a couple of frames and then we hit the square button and then we go split to clip and then very carefully we press X and not square <laughs> to split the clip. And then very carefully we then keep on going. Now I'm using the D-pad just to move forward frame by frame to the point at which I want to zoom back out again to normal, probably where the guy dies. Let's have a look. There we go, got the 25, I'm still shooting at him even though he's dead. <laughs> so that's good, so probably at that point there, I then want to go back to normal screen. So press X to cut it again. And you see we've got this little clip in the middle. Now very carefully, now press circle, don't press square, press circle to go back. So now we've got our normal clip, and then that clip that we're going to change, and then we're back to the normal one. So what we need to do now is if we hit the square button, we can come over to pan and zoom. And this is where the magic happens. So we click on that, and very simply, using the left stick on your PlayStation controller, you can just zoom in like that. And th this, in effect, is a crop as well, because we're cropping out obviously the rest of the screen. And then wh what we can do with the right stick is we can move the picture around to however we want it. So let's say we want to zoom right in, like something like that. And then we press X to confirm. Then if we go back and just play it a little bit, you'll see. Let's go back a little bit further. Zoom in. And then back out again. Now, that might be enough. But generally, when you're zooming in, you're zooming in because of a reason, because it's quite interesting. Um, and the problem with first-person shooters and video games in general, things happen quite fast. So the other thing you might want to do is stretch this little clip as well to make it last longer, to turn it into slow motion. That's dead easy. Just hit the square button again and then navigate over to Time Bender. And then, I mean, we could speed it up if we wanted, but of course in this case, we want to slow it down. Now let's say, let's slow it, slow it down to say, I don't know, quarter speed. So we press um, X. You see how the clip's got longer? Now what will happen is when we play it, what you, you'll see, here we go. I come in, zoom in, and it's lovely slow motion as I take out the knees <laughs> on that terrace. I'm very good at aiming low in first person shooters. And then look, that goes back to normal. So you see how easy that is. Now, the final thing that you might want to do as well is you might want to add a, a simple transition to soften the cut. Now, you don't always have to do this, but if you want to, go to Dissolves and go to Crossfade and put one of them in and then put another one in there at the end. And then that will soften the, the zoom, if you like. Here we go. Yeah, actually, I'm not sure whether I like that or not. Let's see what it looks like when we come out of it. Yeah, let's have a look at it again. Let's see. So we run up. Shield goes down. You know, I don't like that. I don't, in this particular case, that crossfade does not work. So what we're going to do is we're going to press square, edit transition, and we're going to delete the transition. And then we're going to delete it there as well. So square, edit transition, delete transition. Confirm. Let's just play it again. Come up, sh shield away, bang, 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 bang. <laughs> he goes down. 
and then we go away. And that is how you zoom, crop and pan in Share Factory. I hope that's been helpful. If you've got any particular questions about editing videos on your PlayStation 4 and Share Factory or in general, please put them in the comments down below or email me scalespeed.gmo.com. Obviously, if you enjoyed the if you enjoyed the video, hit like if you want to see more of the same, please subscribe. Thank you very much, and I will see you again soon.